So what up, 2K fans? You know who it is. Another year means another 2K, and that always means changes to the game. So it's time for my NBA 2K22 Ultimate Dribbling Tutorial. The purpose of this video is to give you guys some launching animations to either propel you forward or create separation. I'll give you a few combos, but the creativity is up to you. So as always, we'll begin with the fundamentals and then progress to some of the more advanced dribble moves. With 2K22, the devs took an opportunity to revitalize the dribble controls. In doing so, they brought back signature size ups and signature combos. A signature combo can be done simply by holding R2 or RT and tapping the right stick up or towards your defender. If you time it at the right moment, you can speed boost right out of this combination. With Allen Iverson, you want to let the animation play out a little more, because if you do it at the wrong time, you won't get that speed boost. Signature combos are done manually. Simply tap the right stick in various directions and you'll perform a host of different dribbles that allow you to size up your defender. This creates more variety so you're not doing the same combos over and over. And yes, you can speed boost out of this too. The triple threat is deadlier than ever this year, especially when you consider how well people are able to shoot. Tracy McGreatness is one of the best players out of the triple threat who've ever lived. Before dribbling, tap the right stick in any direction. You've never seen something look so pretty. You can create a lot of space just by stepping into your defender. But if they press you, try spinning out of the triple threat and watch how they can't stop you from advancing to the rim. To do a spin out or a cross spin out, rotate the right stick in a half circle in either direction. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the crossovers and some other ways you can mix things up when you have a defender in front of you. To do a manual crossover, tap the right stick up or towards your defender repeatedly. The faster you do it, the faster he dribbles. You can also do a crossover between the legs by tapping the right stick left and right repeatedly. This is on superstar difficulty and I'm still able to get past my defender pretty easily. And I think Bradley Beal has a little something to do with it. Now here's where some of the cheese begins with our escape dribbles. You can easily speed boost out of all of these animations and set your defender up for an evil ankle breaker. To do a crossover escape, hold R2 or RT, tap the right stick up left or up right. To do a between the legs crossover escape, hold R2 or RT and tap the right stick left or right. Should definitely be illegal for a man with this arm length to be able to hop and carry the ball for this long. Kevin Durant's just the living demigod. Now for the hesitations, and pay close attention to Allen Iverson's hezzy hop step crossover. With the Hall of Fame tight handles badge, notice how the defender gets frozen in place while he blows right past them. To do a hezzy crossover, tap the right stick towards your ball hand, then hold sprint and cross over to your free hand. This move also works extremely well behind the screen, so don't be afraid to use your teammates. The behind the back dribbles have had some improvements as well. Some of them are extremely fast and very difficult to guard. Starting with the basic behind the back move, you tap the right stick down left or down right repeatedly. If you continue to do so in rapid fashion depending on the player you're using, you'd be surprised on what you could discover. Now let's look at the behind the back escape from Kevin Durant. Look how fast I'm able to do this move. Imagine trying to stay in front of this. To do the behind the back escape, simply hold sprint, tap the right stick down left or down right repeatedly. And take a look at Donovan Mitchell's behind the back dribble. This is an underused move, so master it and take advantage of it. I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with Steph Curry's behind the back escape, aka the Curry slide. This is definitely one of the best moves to end a combo with because it creates a lot of space and it throws off your defender. And according to Mike Wang, the curry slide may or may not be in 2K22 this year for your my players. If it is, it'll be a season unlock. There's a lot more advanced things you can do with the behind the back moves. They're not just limited to spamming away on the right stick. This is the step back behind the back blow by, and if you time it right, you can do it twice. To do this, you wanna be holding sprint the entire time. Tap the right stick down, then immediately tap the right stick down right towards your free hand. 
and immediately move the left stick up right towards your free hand. And then we have one of the most dangerous moves in 2K22, the explosive behind the back dribble. If you want to be a problem, learn how to do this move after a dribble combo. Or even worse, as you lead a defender towards a mean screen. If the ball's in your left hand, while holding sprint, tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and immediately tap the left stick up right towards your free hand. I call this one the Jamal Crawford double behind the back dribble. While holding R2 or RT, tap the right stick down right towards your free hand. Then immediately tap the right stick down left and tap the left stick up left. You'll almost always create enough space to pull up and knock the dagger down. Now this is the spin reset. There's other names for it, but it allows you to throw off your defender and it creates enough space for you to get a jump shot. You can use this in combination with a lot of different dribbles, especially against human opponents. This usually gets you the separation you need for an open jumper. To do this, you want to rotate the right stick in a quarter circle from your ball hand to away from the defender. Definitely experiment with different dribble combinations to see how many different ways you can utilize this move. Kyrie Irving is just crazy with it. Now we're going to use James Harden with Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame to pull off some snatch back ankle breakers. If you see somebody with shot creating takeover and they're spamming snatch backs, assume they have ankle breaking takeover and they're trying to put you on the ground. Snatch back dribbles will forever be the most efficient way to snap ankles and drop defenders to the floor. To pull this off while sprinting, tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Even if you don't break them, it's a great way to slow yourself down to set your feet for an open jump shot. You can also do a snatch back crossover. While running across the arc, tap the right stick left or right in the opposite direction. It's pretty much the same results. And then we have one of my personal favorites, the half spin snatch back. While holding sprint, you want to rotate the right stick in a quarter circle up towards your ball hand. Then immediately tap the right stick down away from the defender. And if you do this while an ankle break and takeover, you're bound to snatch some ankles. Another easy way to break ankles are the running step backs. While running along the arc, tap the right stick down or away from your defender. With the ankle breaker badge, you're going to create so much space, you won't have any excuse but to hit the shot. And Kyrie's whoop de woo is back for another year in 2K22. All you have to do is hold sprint. Tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and immediately tap the left stick up left towards your ball hand. Now let's take a look at some of the running crossovers you can do to freeze your defender and free up space to get to the rim. This is a running double crossover. If the ball's in your right hand, tap the right stick left then right. Now I couldn't let Magic just get away with doing Zeke like that. Here we have the crossover behind the back dribble that I then turned into a snatch back. If the ball's in your left hand, tap the right stick right, then down. And as you can see, this can definitely embarrass your defenders. You missed, you had the right guy taking the shot. Here's Jordan. Not my Jordan. To do a running spin, you wanna rotate the right stick from your ball hand to your free hand. Jordan was known for going out to the perimeter and then spinning back to the basket. And then straight from an AI commercial, we've got the running Iverson spin. You want to rotate the right stick in a full circle from ball hand to ball hand. And yes, this will also drop a defender while in takeover. And what about the sham guy? You can still do this while running or standing still. You simply hold sprint, tap the right stick right, then up left to your free hand. If you're running up court, you can tap the right stick left, then up right towards your free hand. This is another underrated ankle breaking move. Add this to your arsenal and you'll be surprised at how many people you embarrass with it. And finally, the momentum dribbles. These require some skills with the right and left stick. Once you get the hang of it, you'll see how easy it is to do this. And if you master doing it really fast, you can do it repeatedly. All you have to do is hold sprint. If the ball's in your left hand, tap the right stick upright and immediately tap the left stick upright. Then repeat in reverse. Make sure you alternate the right and left sticks. There's all kinds of combinations that can come from this. 
Some of those we'll discuss in a later video. One of the favorable things to do is a momentum explosive behind the back dribble. If the ball's in your right hand, you want to hold sprint, tap the right stick up left, immediately tap the left stick up left, then immediately tap the right stick down right, and tap the left stick up right. Sounds kind of tough, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. One other thing I wanted to point out is that the current gen and next gen controls are identical, so feel free to use this video as a reference for all consoles. Also, some animations are locked behind seasons. So according to Mike Wang, as we progress through the seasons, he's going to be unlocking more animations. And finally, as always, I went off the top for this video. So if I made any mistakes, please help me out in the comment section below. Smack that like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shout out to the Shake Squad. Today I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to get your Mamba Mentality Badge and the best way to avoid the frustration from losing. MP, welcome back, bro. Hey, what's up, Chris? I got a fun group of guys in the gym today. We were curious to see how you do against them. Oh, work. Why don't you head over there and check it out? We're running threes.